move this so it's going to be pi times the radius squared. Okay. What's your radius? It's going to be changing, right? In, in particular, it's not going to be 4 all the time, right? It's not, a, it's not a water heater. It's a ball. So, all right. So can you see where the radius is going to be the same as the x-coordinate on this circle? So what I've got is x squared plus y squared was 16. And so x is going to be plus or minus the square root of 16 minus y squared. So that's what my radius is going to be. Okay. And I've also got dy, right, because there's an area times its thickness. What else do I need? 9.81. Uh, and I need a distance. Now, how far does this particular slice go to get out of the top? It needs to go from where I am, which is high y, to the top of this tank. Now, I've got this thing centered at the origin. And so the top of the tank to me is uh, 4. So 4 minus 1. OK. Now the good news is, uh, don't have to deal with the square root inside of a quadratic because pi r squared kills off the square root. I'm going to take out the 940 and the 9.81 and the pi, and what I've got is the integral of 16 minus y squared times 4 minus y, okay, uh, dy. What do my limits of integration look like? It was negative 4 to, now we said it was 6 meters deep in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're right, that's going to be y equals 2, that's right here. Because here's negative 4, and here's positive 2, and that's where my water is, or that where my liquor is, right? So, from negative 4 to 2. Now that this thing is set up, we can actually integrate it. Uh, you just want to multiply this out. 940 times 9.81 times pi times the integral from negative 4 to 2. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, 64 minus 16y minus 4y squared plus y cubed. 21 times pi. Okay, so let's integrate this guy. This is 64y minus 8y squared minus 4 thirds y cubed plus 1 fourth y to the fourth uh, at negative 4 and 2. <coughs> okay. With that, that doesn't seem like it would make sense because in it, where y is 0, you're saying it's going to require nothing. Because there is a zero in there. Like we're going to be running through zero, right? It would be running through zero. Let me think about that. Because it's going from negative four to two. Uh huh. And when those are all zero, you're saying that when the tank's at zero, when you multiply that out, it's going to be zero times all that mess, which means it's going to take no work at that point. <laughs> right? Or am I totally you mean, off? Right here? Yes. Like when that's zero, which would the tank would be about half full. You're saying it's going to require no work. No, because this thing's not zero, right? Once you integrate it, I mean... It... Yeah, but, but think about this. This was the amount of work to move the one slice at zero, mm -hmm. right? And what am I looking at? So that would be 64 is how much work that would take, right? Okay. So fundamentally, oh, yeah, we're calculus. Okay. Remember, we're just evaluating this at the endpoints. Okay, that's right. And so we're, we're adding up non-zero things. And even if we integrate it from negative 4 to zero... Uh, the fact that I plugged it in at zero and got something that looked like zeros here, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's the whole value that matters okay. because I'll get zero minus some negative number. Okay. <coughs> you know, very reasonable point though. All right, so I got sixty-four times two uh, minus eight times four, so minus thirty-two minus thirty-two over three. Plus 2 to the 4 to 16 over 4 is 4. Okay, so that's like 89 point a bunch of 3s. K. 
Okay. And at negative 4, 64 times negative 4, <coughs> minus 8 times 16. Is that right? 256 over 4, which will be 64. Okay, so I got 89 point repeat, repeating threes minus negative 234 point repeating sixes. Some of them cancel out here. Plus 89. Uh, 324. Okay, so this is 940. 9.81 pi and 324. Alright, so times 9.81 times 40 times pi is 9,386,241 and 93 uh, joules. Okay. So it's a lot of energy, but it's a really big tank, right? I mean, this thing's uh, four, four meter radius. That's eight meters across. That's about 24 feet. That's a, it's a pretty large tank. So, all right. <laughs> but you see what we're up against in these things. Where do you see the crucial uh, difficulty of these problems being? Yeah. The shape of the tank, right? Because this tank could be anything. Uh, it, could, <coughs> it could be the... Uh, cylinder line on its side like on the lab last week right so <coughs> it could really be anything that we know how to find the volume of by uh, putting it in the slicer okay. let's try something else around x equals negative 3. Okay, and let's say that for this guy, y is going to be in uh, 0 to 4 pi. Okay, now this tank uh, is full up to 2 pi uh, meters sit on the ground, uh, and it has a one meter pipe on top, and we still have to go out. So, <coughs> so what does this thing look like? All right, so x equals sine of one, like that, right? Okay. And I'm going around x equals negative 3. I've got that. Okay. And what's happening on top of this is I've just got a pipe sitting up there like this that my water's going to have to come out of. Right? <coughs> Alright, so you can see how these things are all going to affect uh, what, um, what we're doing here. Alright, so let's figure out the work taken to, um, to pump this tank clean. Okay. Uh, what's another thing we could put in this tank? 
syrup. Okay, so, so let's see if we can find out the, uh, the work required for this. So, now, we're definitely going to be integrating, uh, what did we have in here last time? We had a volume, we had a density, we had a, what? A gravity term, and we had a distance travel. So if we can figure out what all these things are, uh, we should be able to compute this thing, no problem. Okay, so volume, what I'm looking at is something at height y is this guy. So how would you figure out the size of that slice? What's it? Yeah, it's a circular disk, yeah. So it's going to be pi times something squared. And we can figure out our radius here too, right? Because this is just what we're doing in the volume computations for solves of revolution. Now this is sine of y, and this is negative 3, right? So is our radius just sine of y plus 3? Okay, so I've got pi times radius squared. Uh, my depth of this thing is going to be dy. That's where that comes in. It's inside of volume. All right. <coughs> Check here, hold on. <coughs> My internet's dead in here. Somebody look up mass density of syrup. <laughs> That's, I can look it up. Look it up. See what happens to your internet history in here. So. <laughs> <laughs> you may also enjoy. Yeah. Point three seven. One point three seven. Okay. So it's fairly heavy. Okay. So. So I've got one point three seven. Oh, so it's probably going to be one hundred and thirty seven, right? Because it's. Uh, yeah, it's uh, that's grand per milliliter or something like that. So it's, and I'm assuming it's going to be similar units to the. Uh, so, all right. Now, now let me think about it. The other one was 974. Was that right? 940. Well, this is probably going to be 1370 then. So that's, that's what I'm thinking. So, all right. <coughs> okay, so we've got that. We've got a gravity, which is 9.81. What's our distance traveled in this one? That's going to be from 0 to 11 hectares. Yeah, we have to go out the top of the pipe, right? So it's, going to, it's always going to be something minus y because you're going from height y to wherever it is. And so it's got, a, what, a one meter pipe on top of it? Yeah, so it's going to be four pi plus one because that's coming out the top of the pipe. All right, uh, what does your limits of integration tell you? That correlates with something very specific in this problem. It's going to be zero to two pi, why is that? Yeah, because that's where the syrup is, right? Because that's, remember, what you're doing is, in any of these, <coughs> you're getting the measurement of one slice. Your limits of integration are always going to tell you where those slices are, right? So if you have a depth in a tank, it's going to show up in the limits. If you have a pipe on top of the tank, it's going to show up in the distance. That's the difference between those two things. <coughs> so I think this is something we can integrate. Might not be super easy. Let's see. Uh, <coughs> let me pull out constants. This is 1370 times 9.81 times pi times the integral from 0 to 2 pi of sine of y plus 3 squared times 4 pi plus 1 minus y. All right, now we we'll probably don't have enough time to go through that. If you were going to go through this, what would be your method? Mm -hmm. You'd have to multiply everything out, right? I would do the replacement of sine squared of y when you come to it by, uh, yeah, 1 minus cosine of 2y uh, over 2. Uh, and then you should be able to do everything else with integration by parts. 
I'm not going to go through the actual answer because I think the setup is more where the trouble is. Uh, and I'm going to do a couple more of these uh, next time if you need, uh, just because there's uh, there's a big variety of these, and that's really what we're looking for. All right.